Hey, what's up guys? Ben Clark here for Adapt to Perform. In today's video, we're going to be doing a shoulder resistance band workout. Oh then, so to do this workout, all you're going to need is a resistance band. This is a fairly light one. Um, so just make sure you pick up one that's relatively light because it, the shoulders do not require much weight especially with the exercise that we are doing. So the whole idea behind this workout is that we are going to be hitting all three heads of our deltoid. So the deltoid is a muscle group in our shoulder and it's considered three muscles. So we've got the first one which is the front and what this does is help raise arm up forwards, brings it across the side, it's all things in front of you. Then we've got our middle deltoid and that helps raise things up to the side and then you've got your rear deltoid which goes to the rear. Now, to do this workout, we're going to be doing a tricep. So the whole idea behind a tricep is similar to what we call a superset, which is something you might have heard of before, where we do one exercise and then we, with no rest, we go straight to the next one. And as you might know, tricep, three. So we go one exercise, then followed by another, and then another without any rest. We're going to be doing this on one arm and then we're going to be swapping over to the other arm, okay? So the whole idea behind this is that we work the rear deltoid on the first exercise, then we're going to move on to the middle on, then we're going to work on the front one. So it's fairly tough, but with that sort of exercise, we can get a lot more in, in a shorter amount of time, which is really great, especially if you're short for time. So the three exercises, I'm just going to show you to demonstrate what they are to begin with. So first one, we're going to wrap the resistance band. It's a nice light one. We're going to wrap it underneath our foot plate. Now we're going to hold this one a little bit tight and then we're going to go out to the side and this is going to be working that rear deltoid so hold this one tight so it doesn't slip under and then go up to the side you can adjust it just by putting your hand close to the floor here or further away depending if you want it harder or and you just find out where the best area is for you so you just go out to the side just like that and that's the first exercise now, second exercise, we're going to move moving on to that middle deltoid. So I just want you to put this under the bar, underneath your legs. And then go from there. Again, we can adjust how hard it is by going under more or over more. I'm going to go back here. We go up to the side. Slight bend in the elbow. Just up to the side, just like so. And then the last one, we are going to be doing our front and we're going to hold it in a similar position. We hold it back a little bit and we're just going to go up to the front, just like so. Just like that. As I said, three exercises in a row without resting. And now we have our rest once we've done the third one. And then we're going to repeat on the other side. So go in here, just like that, out to the side and out to the front. Right. You ready? We're going to do for, go through this the whole time now. So, we're going to be doing 10 reps on each one. So, we're going to start with the first one down on the floor. All right, you ready? Three, two, one. So, 10 abs there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, a little amount of time as possible to get to the next one. And straight out to the side. So, ready, off we go. One, two, don't let that band bounce back down, try and control it. So, about two seconds on the way up, two seconds on the way down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Right, last one, out to the front, one, a little bit more for me, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I'm just going to give yourself a little bit of rest there, but not too much because we haven't actually worked this arm, so we can go straight into it really. But that's the three exercises. Take about a minute's rest if you want to. Just get that breath back. 
I'm going to go straight into it. And then, so the other side now. Are we ready? Three, two, one, off we go. One, two, we're going to go a little bit tighter. Three, four, five. Again, don't let it spring back down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Let's go back up. Put that band under. I like to put the band under here. Just it's a little bit easier. Now to the side now. Are you ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Ten. And then out to the front. One, two. A bit more tighter. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, good job. Right, I can start to feel that now. What we're going to do, we're going to repeat that one more time. So just have a little bit more rest now. So, as I said, with this exercise, three in a row, no rest. There are obviously going to be a tiny, tiny bit of rest between going from one exercise to the next. But that's totally fine. I've tried to do it so it cuts down the time as quick as possible. And you remember, you want to put that weight up about two seconds. Then on the way down, don't just let it spring down. Control it on the way down, whether that's to the floor, you know, on the side or on the front. Either way, you want to control it down. All right then. So they're feeling pretty good right now. Here we go again. All right, you ready? How's this? Right, bam, back. So this is working the rear deltoids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then underneath the legs. Out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then out to the front. Oh, I really feel it on that one there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Oh, feeling that right in there now. Gonna move to the other side. Just carry on a little bit of breath. It's a lot tougher than it looks because we're doing that tricep basically. You know, we don't get that rest in between like you would normally. But because we're working slightly different muscles each time, although it's the same group, you know, we're working slightly different parts of it. So therefore we can just about do this. If this was like a really heavy weight and you were doing a set of, you know, things that are very, very similar using the very same muscles, say it was like chest press followed by chest flies followed by incline press, you might struggle with a tricep, but because this is slightly different each time, you could just about do it and get really good effort, really good results in not much time. All right. Could you one more so this arm? All right, we ready. And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Underneath. That's the side. Right, ready. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, and then out to the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. 
Good job. Well then, I'm going to stop it there, but be free, feel free to do another set if you want to there. This is quite easily modifiable. If you just want to do one set, I say this is a really great way to end. Maybe like if you've just done a shoulder workout or you've just done some sort of pushing workout, you've worked your chest, your triceps and your shoulders. This is a really great way to finish it off just with one set. Or you can use it as a main sort of set where you do it three times through on each arm. So you do what? This one, rest a little bit. Other one, rest, go back and forth. But if you enjoyed that, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, then make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more great videos like this. And go and check out all the rest I do here. Um, and go support the channel on patreon.com slash form. Every little helps there is massive. So, yeah, please go ahead for there and at least check it out. Because there's extra content on there that I don't show on here. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.